Well, I worked down here for years, I, I guess. I know, you did. You work, helped us hang work over here. Else. I don't remember. I never did work the cash register. No, you I, didn't. I didn't like food with somebody else's money. <laughs> you did what we needed more at the time. You helped hang pictures. Well, I, I like to work. I wish I could work more, but I don't know. Well, I, you just I, keep I'm looking to get around like <laughs> I do, I guess. You just keep painting. We're it's happy. Now, how, how did you happen to do the windmill? The windmill over here. Tell oh. me about how you did that one. Well, that was made up of uh, four, either four or five pictures. Uh-huh. The lady sent me one. She had two pictures of the, of the mill. And then she had a picture of these rocks that we heard on the riverbank. Oh, okay. And this was out in the middle of the field. But she told us that she wanted it all put together. So he took the best pieces and... Maybe so more. I did the best to could. We're good at that. I, th <laughs> I think that's one of the neat things about being a painter is you can create your own reality. Yeah. Well, play God, depending on how you refer to it. <laughs> anybody yeah, say anything about that? Several people have commented on Nobody believes it's yours. <laughs> you well, know? Because it doesn't, well, it doesn't have a train. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't have a little boy. It's not a sunset. It doesn't have any deer in it. I mean, all these things are characteristic of Alan's paintings. And so it doesn't have any of those things that we expect to find in your stuff. Well, she sent me. I was going to say, I guess because it was a painting. Yeah, six yeah. postcard pictures. Yeah. That's neat. And I had to put together that. I say it did pretty well. It, I guess it come out all right. She's satisfied, tickles me to death. Hey, works for me. <laughs> works for me. Anybody say anything about that one? We have told people what that is, and they all just look at us and go, what? Well, it's been so long. I know. No, there's nobody around that still remembers it. I can, re I can remember the, the fountain. Uh-huh. And a horse and buggy once in a while. But all of that, I, that was for my time. Well, it's interesting because several people have this, seen it. This probably. building here now is gone. Yeah. Well, and some people remember seeing the photograph, but they've never seen it as a painting. Well, and they all like it better as a painting. It's a creek. Creek runs through mm -hmm. here, and it had a flood one time, and washed the corner of this building loose. Oh. So they tore it tore down. Yeah. It was still families in it, and stores down bottom. Old Levin and Bernstein. Now, is that the same clock that's up at the Elks Club? Uh, old Levin Bernstein will run up a store in there, a clothing store. Right. And Kenneth Rapp and his wife, I think, lived on the third floor at one time. That's about all I remember of it. Now, that you can remember those names at all astounds me. I can't <laughs> Just tell you. standing here shaking I my head. I can't tell you the names of, the pe of my uh -uh. play friends in the third and fourth grade and it hadn't been quite that long. <laughs> well, I, sometimes I, my memory, sometimes I can remember very bad. I can't even remember what happened yesterday. Well, that's probably a good <laughs> idea this year. You know, this year's, this year's probably not one to remember. We're just not going to count it. <laughs> the only thing I remember is the fountain and I've seen the horse. Uh -huh. horse and buggy because it was it was a horse that killed in my front of my house. We lived in West Clifton years ago. Really? Yeah. By uh, what? Uh, oh, it was a car. I'd run the flower shop and yeah. sell them. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> he was going west, going home. And uh, it was a lady who rode horses. She rode up to the hospital visiting someone. And the horse got loose and come down. Oh no! And he he was going west to his shop. He hit the horse and it fell right in front of our house. I remember. Oh, Alan, how awful! It was, we were having a uh, meeting across the street. It was on Wednesday. It was a Wednesday night meeting, and uh, oh, it you broke up the meeting because it was so. And they had they. 
Dad took an old sledgehammer, knocked the horse in the head and killed it. <laughs> and they drove it up in the hall back of the old school. Oh my. It was I guess it burned, I don't know. Oh, oh my. I never heard them all burn. Oh my. I remember a lot of old things that happened around in town. Oh. Well, you ready to go? I'm ready whenever you are. I'm on your clock. I'm just staying talking. <laughs> you know. I think about things. Yeah, I used to come down here the whole time working. You did? We missed that. Huh? We missed that. Well, I'm hardly able to get around working home. Nah, it seems to me you're doing pretty good. Well, I ain't pretty I'd so rather be our doing mom. something and sitting around in a nursing home. Exactly. Exactly. Excuse I'd go me, crazy in a nursing, nursing home. Yes, you would. Well, that's probably, probably fair. I'd probably walk off and they'd have to hunt for me. <laughs> I was going to say, you'd probably drive them crazy, too. Because <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've been up there in the hospital. Mm -hmm. up our, well, it was over in the nursing home part. You're in the rehab center. In rehab, yeah. I was over there about five weeks. Yeah. But you're not now. You're looking great, Alan. Huh? You look great. Well, I feel all right. I eat all the time. And <laughs> Can't complain then? Uh, I, I, I can still eat my own cooking. <laughs>